Sometimes children come into your life when they're born. In my case, Catherine came into my life when she was 12 and Emily and I were dating. Officially, Catherine and Olivia became my daughters on National Adoption Day in November 2011 when Catherine was 17. Although I missed some stages along the way with Catherine, I was part of her life when she met the men of her dreams, Scott. I remember standing in the kitchen at home when you told me about Scott. I could see in your eyes that he was the one for you. As we've gotten to know and love Scott, it's clear he feels the same way about you. Oh. You look so good. This is so much dress. It's amazing. <laughs> I love you, man. I love you so much. Catherine told me she was dating Scott when she was living in Nashville over the summer when I went to visit her. And the second she started telling me about the, her relationship, I could tell how real her feelings were. And the next day, when Scott made the three-hour drive from Knoxville to Nashville just to get brunch with me and Cap, and he had to drive another three hours back to Knoxville, I could tell that he was just as in it. You tell from the way he talked about her that there was absolutely something there. The look in his eyes and the way he talked about her that I had never seen before. Uh, it was really clear that this is a serious thing. Hare at. Hare at. Mikudeshet li. Mikudeshet li. Bitabaat. Bitabaat. Zo. Zo. Kedat. Kedat. Moshe. Moshe. The Yisrael. The Yisrael. By this ring. By this ring. You are sanctified to me. You are sanctified to me. In accordance. In accordance. With the laws of Moses. With the laws of Moses. And Israel. And Israel. Hare Atta. Hare Atta. Mikudashli. Mikudashli. Pitabaat. Zo. Kadat Moshe. The Yisrael. By this ring. You are sanctified to me. In accordance with the laws of Moses and Israel. Anila Dodi. I am my beloved. I am my beloved. Catherine's your groom, the Dodi Lee. The Dodi Lee. And my beloved is mine. And my beloved is mine. We welcome you all. You know, there's a lot of history apparently represented in this building. And that's really relevant because uh, there's, we're making a lot of history this week. Best wishes and many congratulations, dear Catherine and Scott. I'm excited to celebrate the night before you tie the knot. I know that you're ready to get married since you did just rehearse and I've waited for a year and three months to toast you both in verse. When you told me and your mother told me about Scott, I could feel that he was the one for you. When I saw you two together, I saw a really strong relationship full of love and support, even though you look like two high school kids. Uh, we wanted to give something to both of you that literally has, you know, uh, a token of uh, us on it. <laughs> I don't know any other way to put that. You'll see what I mean. The most beautiful metaphor in the history of English belongs to the pamphleteer Thomas Paine. In common sense, he compares the cause of revolution to names inscribed on a young oak tree. The names and, by proxy, the cause, he writes, will enlarge with the tree and posterity read it in full-grown characters. An observation of this evening, the initial gathering that marks union, faith, and honor. I'm humbled to be among people so dedicated to celebrating the growth of my relationship with Catherine. 
For Payne, it was the people's belief in an idea of America that enabled its existence. For us here, it's the love and support of friends and family that reminds us of how fortunate we are to marry and grow together. I want to thank my parents for hosting and Catherine's parents for all of their hard work to make this weekend possible. Finally, thanks to all of our close friends and family for being here and celebrating with us. We couldn't have done it without you. I hope you had a great time and can't wait to see you tomorrow. It was clear from the first time I met Catherine that she had charm, wit, and beauty. people knew us when we were little, I wanted to be exactly like Catherine, to the point where I even made up having food allergies and uh, eyesight issues so I could be just like her. You're the most amazing sister in person, and I know as we grow up and our lives change more, you will always be there for me, even for the very small things. Before we left for the hotel, I made myself a reminder note that said, do you have everything? With you, today and every day, I feel overwhelmingly like I have everything. In you, I have the most beautiful, loving, brilliant, and dedicated partner I could ever hope to have. Oh my God, Catherine, oh my God, you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful, oh my God. Oh my God, you look absolutely gorgeous. You look absolutely gorgeous. So we all met up around 11 this morning. We had some downtime to just relax, <laughs> like talk to each other and hang out and goof around and make jokes. Scott, what can I say? I've always wanted a son and now I have one. You're a man of character, intelligence and warmth. And I have no doubt you'll be a fantastic husband to Catherine. We've known each other for a long time, and I don't think that I would be the person I am today without knowing you. We spent like every weekend at each other's houses as kids, as teenagers. I figured out who I was in a lot of ways through talking to him and doing things with him uh, and having him as an example. I knew it. <laughs> Dear Scott, you're the most brilliant, creative, and genuine person I know. You are strong, resilient, open-minded, and true. I can't wait to be your wife. This relationship and you have given me an unparalleled and unending excitement, joy, and wonder for the past, for the future, and most importantly, for this moment. I'm so excited. I love you, I love you, I love you, Catherine. Scott could not be more perfect for Catherine. I love the two of them together. Their love of writing, the way they speak together, the way they speak to each other is so beautiful. Catherine means so much to me and to see her with someone who values her the way that I do and who I know always will is so amazing. This is some union. They love each other. They care about each other, they support each other, they encourage each other. They're both entrepreneurial and they're both good sounding boards for each other. And the bottom line is that they communicate so well together and they're on the same page. And when they're not, they get on the same page because they work with each other. And I just, I just think that's the rarest thing in the world. Scott, you're marrying an incredible young lady and I know you know that. And what we love most about you that we know so far anyway is that Catherine loves you. And we're delighted to have you as part of our family and give you big hugs. As you are about to be sanctified to me, and as we are about to approach the chuppah, I pledge that I will love, honor, and respect you. As I set my name to our ketubah, I say to you the ancient words, set me as a seal upon your heart. Set me as a seal upon your heart. Thank you, God, for this precious moment 
How sweet it is for us to see our children married. I pray that the home they establish will be built on firm foundations. May their love grow deeper through the years, and may their union mature through shared tasks and constant effort. And may the family they create be a strong part of our larger family. God of life, let your divine presence illuminate their home and their lives, blessing them with unfailing love. Watching her go down the aisle, it was moving. She's stunningly beautiful. She's incredibly in love. She and Scott are really something to behold. I really enjoyed hearing the letters that they wrote to each other. I thought it was very clever of the rabbi to read back what two essentially English teachers had written about each other. Scott, it's truly a gift to love you. I can't wait to celebrate the partnership we've built, honor the commitment we've made, and begin our life together as a family. You're so kind, thoughtful, empathetic, and considerate. Being with you makes me feel like the best version of myself and also pushes me to think about the person I want to become and how I can get there. Thank you for believing in me and in us because I will always believe in you. Your capacity for love is endless and when I'm with you, I feel like anything is possible. I love you, Scott. I love you so much forever and always. Now, let's get married. <laughs> All my heart, Catherine. Catherine, as I write this letter, being married to you has moved from an abstract concept to a beautiful reality. When we were first dating, I always used to sign my letters with a phrase I borrowed from Thomas Pinchon, keep cool but care. I never really needed to remind you of that. You care beyond anything, far beyond yourself, in a capacity that seems to grow every day. You've cared for me more than I ever thought anyone could, and you care for others selflessly and intimately. It's a quality I know you will never lose because it's so much a part of you. No single letter can do this relationship justice. You know that. From the seemingly millions of words we have written to each other in these past few years, it's clear that we're always searching for those inexpressible parts of how we feel. I can promise you though, that I will always search for the words and that I'll never consider anything we do a final draft. The trying is to me the beauty of our life together. I love you always, Scott. We have this outdoor wedding, which in Judaism is a mitzvah. It's a real extraordinary event to be married outside in open air. And to have this party up here on the roof and have to have no rain is fantastic. So I think the big guy upstairs is smiling on this union today. So amazing. Karen, I am thrilled for your marriage, your beginning of your new family, and we know that your love will radiate out toward us and your larger family, your friends, and really the whole world. Oh, I never, never thought I could. Congratulations. We love you. We love you both. And you're strong individually, stronger as a couple. And we're, we're happy just to be a part of this uh, going forward. Something we never dreamed of that could come true. It's a pleasure to see two beautiful children and they meet and fall in love and stay in love for the rest of their lives. It's wonderful. You changed me. Pat, I could not imagine someone better for you than Scott. The two of you together are so absolutely perfect. I don't think it's possible to wish you more happiness and love in your life, but here's trying. Cheers. I love you two buds so much. And I just can't wait to see the life you build together and how much you learn from each other. So I've already seen it in the years you've been together and how much you make each other better every day. This is an incredibly happy day, but you'll have even happier days as you grow together and build this life together. When I was five years old, I'm walking to the grocery store with my mother and 
I'm holding her hand as we're walking across the parking lot, and, and I tell her that I love her. And she says to me, you know, one day you're going to love someone even more than you love me. What I've come to learn from being with Catherine is that uh, I love someone differently and just so fully and completely. And being here with her um, has moved me to tears. Uh, being here with all of you have just completely moved me to tears. Uh, things that I think are not possible keep happening. And, uh, and, that's, and that's so wonderful to me. But thank you all for being here. Uh, a toast to you. You've spoken the words and performed the rites which unite your lives. We therefore declare you, Scott, and you, Catherine, husband and wife. Mazel tov! sounding board for each other and the bottom line tell me if I need to turn for better profile <laughs> and now that we have another English nerd family I would love some help with some college essays and English homework from both of you <laughs> Hare at. Hare at. Scott, I do love you, but please say this to your bride. <laughs> that every single time we thought the camera was on, it was off. Uh, we had a ton of amazing footage of like the ground shaking and just blackness. And there is this one moment where you hear us talking to each other about how great the movie is going. <laughs> and we're just like, yeah, we're, we're pretty good actors. Like,